I pray in the name of your son Jesus Christ according to John chapter 14 verse 14 God you help me speak according to your will I pray that you bless the one who's watching the one who's listening to this message in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I pray Amen Today I would like us to go to the book of John, chapter 17. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 17. We'll read from verse 4. It reads as follows. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, O oh Father, Glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. I strongly believe that no one is on this earth by mistake. There is a plan and a purpose that is behind you being on this earth. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. That's what I mean. Now the question is, what is this plan? What is this purpose that God has for your life? Jesus says, Father, glorify me. That's before, you know, verse 4, rather. Right He says in verse 4, if I go back there, I have glorified you. I have done the work you have given me to do. That means that we glorify God to the degree to which we do the work that he has given us to do. Do you know what work God has given you to do here on earth? Because it is only after you have done the work that God has given you that you will glorify God. Now, what is the first step in order to know the work that God has given you to do? The first step is to get saved. Is to turn from your wicked ways and turn to God. That's repentance. But you've got to believe deep down in your heart that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and God raised him from the dead for your justification. For the Bible says, if you believe in your heart the Lord Jesus and you confess with your mother God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Now, what will follow is and when you pray, asking God to reveal as to what work he has given you to do on earth so to glorify him, you pray and God will give you the answer. It is of paramount importance to, to glorify God. It is of paramount importance to know that there is a plan and purpose for your life more importantly. Before we try by all means to get to know as to what exactly God wants us to do. I encourage you, if you're born again, to pray and ask as to what work God has given you to do. If you're not born again, get saved. Ask Jesus to come into your heart to be your Lord and your Savior. Turn from you, it is intent to you. Turn from wrong things. Change direction. And God will reveal that to you. Praise the Lord. 